Hello guys, I'm Farzad and today we want to discuss about ship mooring methods. Uh, subjects of this course uh, is divided uh, in six sections. Section one is about uh, general system description. In this video, uh, we will discuss about section one, general system um, description. This section, this section uh, should give a short introduction to the purpose of mooring, knowledge of different mooring arrangements. Now, one question must be asked. What is the purpose of the mooring system? The purpose of the mooring system is to position the ship correctly during cargo loading and unloading operation. Mooring lines may also assist in heaving the ship alongside the berth and can be used to assist in unberthing. The mooring system has to maintain the ship position again forces that will be trying to move it, which may be caused by one or more of the following. One, current, surge due to passing ships, waves and swell, change of freeboard, change of underkill kilowatts. Typical mooring arrangement of a ship. Here is uh, four parts of ship and here is um, aft part or eastern part of a ship. In this area, you can find uh, two type of lines. Here is headlines. Headlines are mooring lines leading ashore from the bow of a ship, often at an angle of about 45 degrees, to the fore and aft line. Here you can find uh, fairly, and here uh, you can find a spring lines. A spring lines should be oriented as parallel as possible to the longitudinal center line of the ship. The purpose of the uh, spring lines is to prevent longitudinal mobile of the ship in berth. Head spring prevent forward motion and back spring uh, prevent F motion. Here you can find mooring bolar. Uh, a mooring bolar is a vertical post to which the eye of a mooring line can be attached. Here is a chain, a stopper for anchor cable and here anchor mooring winch and here you can find mooring winch and here SPF type chain stopper here's mooring bolar and here you can find fairly and to here and here is pedestal roller a pedestal roller fairly uh, usually operates in a horizontal plane. Its purpose is to change the, the direction of the load of lead of a mooring or other line on a ship's deck. Here uh, you can find a mooring bullard, a mooring winch, a wire guide. This guy is used. Uh, for a mooring line, which lifts the line over obstruction on a deck. Mooring blurs. A mooring blur, uh, as mentioned, uh, is a vertical pose to which the eye of a mooring line can be attached. And in uh, 
F part of ship, you can find breast line. Breast lines should be oriented uh, as perpendicular as possible to the longitude and center of the ship and as far as and uh, forward as possible. And here you can find SN lines. SN lines are mooring lines leading ashore from the after end or poop of a ship, often at angle of about 45 degrees to the fore and aft line. Here is fair lead, breast line, breast line, uh, SR both sides and uh, port side. Here you can find uh, mooring winch. Here is uh, mooring winch again, and here you can find another mooring winch. And here is mooring bullards, and here is a fairlit. This is a guide for a mooring line which enables the line to be passed through a ship's bulwark or other barrier. Or to change direction through a, a congest congested area without uh, snagging or falling. Anchoring. Another method of anchoring is a uh, method of mooring is anchoring. What is purpose of ship anchoring system? The answer is the purpose of the ship anchoring system is to hold the ship safely in an offshore position without the use of propulsion system. Here is anchor and anchor chain and the ship. Another the method of uh, mooring is single point mooring or SPM. SPM at a single point mooring, the ship or tanker uh, is secured to the buoy using uh, a special supply moorings. These moorings are attached to a swivel. Um, on the buoy, thus permitting the tanker to swing around the buoy in uh, response to wind and tides. Because the ship is only more at one point, this point, all load is borne uh, by the one or two mooring lines. These uh, two mooring lines, all of load. Uh, all loads is borne by one or two mooring lines used. Here is base, anchor swivel, mooring buoy, floating hose, mooring lines, uh, single point mooring stopper, and tanker uh, manifold. What is ship to ship operation? Ship to ship transfer requires the mooring alongside offshore of two different size ships for the purpose of cargo transfer. Such an operation may take place when one ship is at anchor or when both are on the way. In general, the expression includes the approach manual, berthing, mooring, host connecting, safe procedure for cargo transfer, host disconnecting, and unmooring. The mooring arrangement adopted will depend on the sizes of the ships carrying out the operation and the difference between their sizes. When carrying out ship-to-ship -ship operation, advice for uh, monitoring alongside must be presented. Also, individual master will have their own preference for method of 
uh, maneuvering their ship, the following points are emphasized for ship-to-ship -ship transfer operation. The master of both ships should always be prepared to abort a berthing uh, operation if necessary. Each ship is responsible for maintaining a proper lookout at all times. Generally, during maneuvering, the YNC should be ahead or nearly ahead. However, local condition or knowledge may indicate an alternative approach. The angle of approach adopted by maneuvering ship should not be excessive. A common method of berthing is for the ship to approach to the contact, uh, constant heading ship from the quarter on the side of berthing. On closer approach, she should parallel uh, of uh, courses of a constant heading ship about uh, 15 to uh, 100 meters off. The maneuvering ship should then position itself relative to the um, to the constant heading ship. Contact is made. Uh, by maneuvering ship reducing the distance by appropriate rudder and engine movement on defenders touch. The two ships should uh, preferably make parallel contact at the same speed with no acer engine movement being necessary. The effect of ship interaction should be uh, anticipated when maneuvering at close quarter. Multi boy mooring or um, MBM. In this um, method, first ship drop anchor one, then drop anchor two, and move ahead, move uh, ahead, astern and then by B mooring 1, quarter mooring and SR mooring be secured. Again we will, we will uh, play animation. As you know, vessel first drop anchor 1, then anchor 2, and after that mooring blinds be secured. Um, in the in next section, in our next section and later videos, you will find some useful points about uh, safe mooring practice. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.